Hi guys, I'm Tom and I'm in charge of the product here at Sequence. Sequence is the first ever financial router. It enables you to create custom architecture for your cash flow, set smart rules and if statements, and visualize it all as a simple flowchart. It's basically a whole new way of managing your money. Let me show you how it works. So this is our home screen, our canvas, uh, on which we'll create our financial flowchart. Uh, and Sequence basically uses two main, main building blocks, a port and an account. So a port is basically an entry point into the router. So any money you want to direct into the router, your salary, side gig, any money that you're getting, you'd want to create a port for. Uh, an account is basically where you're flowing your funds towards, right? So it could be any of your bank accounts. So let's create a port. That's a great way to start. Uh, I can call this one salary. I can change its icon, say, to money. And I create my first port. So as soon as I created my first salary port, uh, Sequence has generated uh, an account and a routing number for me. So I can use these numbers to basically direct money into this port. I can also generate a direct deposit or use a salary uh, deposit switch. So after creating my port, it's time to create my account. Uh, and I can also connect a new account from here. And here I can choose either a depository, depository account, which is a checking or saving account, or a liability account. So I can also create, uh, connect my credit card, my student loans, or mortgage. Let's go with the depository account. I can connect it, link it with Plaid or manually. Let's go with Plaid. Great. So here I connected my checking and savings <clears throat> and I can rename them, change the icon, right? I can leave this. And now I have one port and two accounts. So after I created my port and connected my accounts, it's time to connect the two together. So I simply draw an edge from the salary port to the account. Uh, and then I'm asked what type of rule I want to create for this transaction. So we have two types of uh, rules in sequence. Uh, one is triggered by incoming funds. So basically this rule will run, uh, uh, will be triggered every time money is deposit, deposited into this port. And uh, the other one is triggered by date, meaning every time a certain date arrives, uh, this rule will run. So I will choose trigger by incoming funds, meaning every time funds is rece are received inside salary. So this is my trigger. I can create a condition and an action. So let's first create an action and say, whenever funds are received in salary, transfer percentage of 90% into checkings and 10% into savings. I can also add a condition. So let's say if the balance, if the transfer amount, sorry, is uh, higher, or equals to $5,000. So if the transfer amount is $5,000 or more, then transfer 90% into checkings and 10% into savings. If it's not, so a simple, simply an else, transfer 100% into checkings. And I'll save this, and now I have this connection uh, with the condition saying, if uh, I get 5,000 or more, split it 90 and 10. And if it's less than $5,000, simply move all the funds into checkings. What I can also do is connect an external account to another external account. So let's say I want to connect my savings 
to my checkings. So I can trigger it monthly. So on the first of every month, let's add a condition. So if the balance of my checking account is less than $1,000, then transfer $100 from my savings to my checking. And here we go. So this is great, but let's say I want to transfer $100 each month to my vacation account. So I simply go into my rule and I add another action. So I want to transfer a fixed amount of $100 to my vacation. And I have to make sure that I'm not uh, taking the whole full 100% in my first action. But you know, I re I'm really into this vacation and I want to make sure that the $100 are being saved. So I'll simply take that. And now Sequence will first transfer the $100 to my vacation account and then do the allocation by the percentage. So I'll just save this and it's done. So now I make sure uh, that money is being saved for my vacation. Uh, and afterwards it does uh, the allocation by percentages. Now let's say I am taking a look at my map and I want to transfer money from savings to checkings right away, right now. So it's definitely possible with sequence. You have to go into your transactions, transfer manually, and just choose uh, the account you want to transfer from to checkings. And I want to click the amount. I'll review the transfer. I'll get a code on my mobile. So I'll just enter that. I'll submit the code, confirm the transfer, and the transfer is complete. Uh, it's a same day ACH, so it will show up in the next 24 hours in my checking account.